Young and the Restless Daily Scoop Fridays October 9, Nikki and Victor argue about Adam again, Victoria pulls a fast one on Phyllis the Young and the Restless YNR Scoop for Thursday October 8 suggests Nikki Newman and Victor Newman will argue about his prodigal son. Also, Abby Newman and Chance Chancellor will canoodle and Phyllis Summers will get some shocking news. Plus, Chelsea Newman won't suffer much more than a bump on the head, but will she learn her lesson? Adam Newman will tell his fiance not to get involved in his schemes. She'll suggest they leave town. There's no better time than right now, she will say. Our family needs a fresh start. Will Adam agree? Young and the Restless Scoop, Billy Abbott confronts Adam Newman at Society, Billy Abbott will tell Adam that cutting off the power at Chancellor was a little excessive, just to break into his hotel room. It just shows me how scared you are of what we have, he'll say. And that must consume you and that brings me joy. At Newman, Phyllis will accuse Victoria Newman of creating a holding company just to buy her loan from the Grand Phoenix. You're not even denying this, she'll say. It was a good business opportunity, Victoria will respond. You shouldn't have left yourself exposed. Then she'll ask Phyllis how much she wants for the remain 25% of her hotel. No way in hell, Phyllis will say. Meanwhile, Abby and Chance will make love and then head to Chancellor Park to chat. I just want you to know that I love you, Abby will say. I'm not falling. I'm already there. Chance will smile and tell her her he was hedging his bet when he said he was falling for her. He just didn't want to scare her away. Young and the restless scoop, Victor Newman should focus attention on others finally, Nikki will advise Victor to stop prioritizing Adam. His other children and his grandchildren should be who he focuses his attention on. Once again, Victor will shut her down. If this were Nicholas or Victoria, would you suggest I tell them to get the hell out? Victor will ask as he walks away from his wife. Have a good time with the leaves. Ray arrived to take Faith home, and he asked Mariah how things had progressed. Mariah said that Faith was the typical teen. Ray informed Mariah that he was moving back in with Sharon. Mariah was thrilled. She asked Ray to tell her when Sharon or Faith needed help. Ray made a deal with Mariah that he would inform her if they needed help, provided Mariah told him when she needed help. He said he knew it wasn't easy for her to open up, either. Billy and Lily had been gazing out the window, and Billy said no one would have guessed that he and Lily would wind up working together as co-CEOs. It was crazy, but he was glad she was there because he couldn't have done it without her.